In this final part of our Hello Spring series, we're going to show you just a couple of more efficient ways you can use the annotations that we've introduced in this lesson. Notice looking at our Hello Controller class that each method uh, has a couple of annotations. Each method has either a get mapping or request mapping annotation, and each method has um, a response body annotation. And so there's some sort of duplicated behaviors in here. Um, the first thing I can do is it's actually possible if every method within my class is going to have response body on it, I can basically take that into annotation and put it up on top of the class. So I'll take the annotation response body and put it up above the hello controller class. Now I can go into each method and delete that response body annotation because it basically inherits that annotation from the response body annotation on the class that the method belongs to. Similarly, each one of, if I wanted uh, to have some consistency in, in the paths within my um, class, I can use a request mapping annotation on the class itself. So on the hello controller class, I'm gonna add a request mapping annotation, and within parens, I'm just gonna put hello. This basically says that every single mapping within, or every single method within this class should begin with slash hello. And so any information I put in after it down below, for example, I have at get mapping with goodbye, that will basically um, now lives at slash hello slash goodbye. So it, the, the route for a particular method is formed by considering the piece of the route at the controller level with the piece of the route at the method level. And so um, now this thing, the get, uh, goodbye method lives at slash hello slash goodbye. Um, this now, the second method, the hello with query param lives at slash hello slash hello, and so on. So this, this is just another way you can kind of streamline uh, what you're doing. In fact, if we wanted to kind of reduce the redundancy here, we could just take out some of these guys. Let me remove the hello from uh, each of these methods below. Cool. So now that lives at sl that still lives at sl hello slash launch code. Um, this still lives at slash hello with the query param. This still lives at slash hello slash goodbye. And this now lives at slash hello slash form. Okay. So a convention that we'll adopt over time is that for each kind of related piece of our application, um, we will have a specific controller and we'll have each of those controllers, the routes will all begin with a specific word. And uh, that'll make kind of make all of the resources within a given controller standardized and all sort of live past the same standard path segment. All right, so that concludes our Hello Spring lesson. That's the basics of how to set up the, the sort of most commonly used pieces of Spring Boot and the most common types of requests and configurations that you might use. Uh, in future lessons, we'll go in a little more depth and we'll actually build out um, some more sophisticated web apps and, and get into uh, some more in-depth features.